Yo, I had to play a clip from that, Heather, because I'm a Hulu guy. Right. One of the reasons why I'm a Hulu guy because my partner, King Tech, got a contract with Hulu. Well, <laughs> and you like right. the content that's all Hulu and I like the content but they hire tech so I, you know, <laughs> you gotta, I like that too they're plus one for you you know, that's a, you know he's, a, he's a music supervisor for uh, the Wu-Tang Clan saga absolutely you know and he's done that all season salute to him and RZA and, and because of that I started watching Hulu more mm-hmm. and there was this series that came out called Reasonable Doubt Tracy you, when you think Reasonable Doubt what do you think Tracy G <laughs> Ho. Sean Corey Carter, Jay Z, okay. one of the greatest okay. albums of all time, especially when it comes to debuts. <laughs> okay. You asked, I answered. Her, yeah, her nickname head is Trey Hova. Just in case oh, okay, yeah, I get it. I see, I see the hat and all that. Yeah, all that. Like she's in, she's in Brooklyn. She didn't want to come to L.A. She yeah, was I know. like, I'm here in Brooklyn. Know. You know, she's repping it. Uh, but this young man, we see it a lot, man. We see a lot of young folks that come into the game, and you can see the promise in them, mm-hmm. right? You can see the energy that they have. It's, it radiates on the screen. When I saw him in a movie um, of Safety, which was about a, a, a Clemson Tiger football player who was raising his brother um, as he went through football, I noticed this young man. It's like, yo, that dude got a light on him. Mm, thank you. Appreciate yeah, it. Absolutely. Um, and and then I start watching this Reasonable Doubt, and then I read up on him because he works with my good friend Troy Marshall. Shout out to Troy. Troy. Found out he's going to be a, a member, a cast member of Cree 3. Okay. I'm like, man, I, I got to get to know this dude just so I can could, I could feel comfortable at sending him my cash app. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now all of a sudden he got a cash app, Tracy. When people <laughs> ask him for money, he don't got that shit. Right. <laughs> to get money, he got it. <laughs> self bro. Yeah, Fall yo, back. This young, this young man is ahead of the game, Tracy G. Please welcome him to the show. He's an actor. He's a songwriter. He's a choreographer. He's a singer. He's just an all-around great guy. Give it up for the one and only Papa Jay. Papa Jay. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Wow. Appreciate yeah, y'all for having a- me for real. Yeah, thank you. Fresh what you gonna guy say, Tracy? Like, like, you can see how fresh I he is. He's a fresh guy. Yeah, yeah. that so, fit is fire. So just done. <laughs> thank you. So, who's your stylist? Well um, me and my dad, for real. What? It's just yeah, my dad. He be helping me like pick certain outfits out. I be putting them on some of the jeans. I rock the suvies and stuff like that. They real comfortable, easy to dance in. Uh huh. Uh, varsity jackets. Yeah, that's that's my type of stuff. Polos, all that. Yo, Clean. Yo, so do you got to keep your dad up on it though? Cause if I got a daughter and I can't, sh- I can't. I don't know what. Uh, sometimes, yeah. but I don't know. He just. He know how to put stuff together. Like I be wondering, like, how you know about this and I ain't know about this. How old like, is your dad, if you don't mind us asking? Do you uh, know? Forty three. So oh, he, he a hip hop. Well, there it is. <laughs> yeah. 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 He your he dad in that sweet spot. <laughs> yeah, he right in the sweet spot. <laughs> yeah. We teach the world everything. You realize that about our culture, no, right? Facts. We drive the global community. Yeah, sir. Sure. Yeah. What kind of? Right. Uh, so you like dancing in in your jeans? What's like? What's I don't know the help me make me hip. What's the popular dances right, All right now? Popular dances. Um, man. Uh, well, me personally, I really watch and study a lot of old dancers. Okay. Like Fred Astaire, oh. um, the mm. Nicholas Brothers, James Brown, Michael man, Jackson. Come on, give me some. Yeah. Yeah. Don't <laughs> let that go un- yeah. unrewarded. Boom. Really? Yeah, mainly history. <laughs> the history yeah. of it. Yep, yep, yep. Mainly them. Wow. Why? Why was so that I'm... important to you? Mm-hmm. To um, Wait, like, let me tell you this. That young lady on the screen is in so Brooklyn, so you'll hear her voice from time to time. That's why gotcha. I know you're looking at Heather. Yeah, 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 you like yeah. my ventriloquist skills. Okay, right? go ahead. But uh, why was, like, not, you don't hear a lot of young folks that want to go back in the past. In fact, they typically might want to disregard the past. Mm-hmm. It's, it's about the now. But why was that important? What you learn from that? No, nah, because I feel like we can learn so much from the past. Like, for real, that's, that's really what it is for me. And me and my dad, I just like he just put me in front uh, in front of the computer and just play all these like OGs in the game and like it just taught me so much and I was like I could really bring this to the new style and 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 and, and do mm-hmm. something different that nobody has seen before. Oh, I God. love what you're saying and salute to your dad for yeah. doing that because if you study the Michael Jacksons, he will tell you it was James Brown, it was Fred Astaire, mm-hmm. it was the Nicholas mm-hmm. Brothers. Sometimes you can compare some of the videos that Michael Jackson has done and you'll see very similar moves but updated, you know, yeah, to yes, your man. point and what you're saying. I love that your dad has done that with you and you, you, you'll carry yourself 
a lot further in this industry because I see you as an artist. Mm, like thanks. everything that Sway started to list on your resume, you're just an all around artist. So the future is ahead of you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. What's up? What's up? Hey, that's yeah. what's up, man. Man, I just, I just, I'm just appreciating this because a lot of times when I talk to the youth, you know, like you said, they disregard the past. They don't want to mm -hmm. do with it. And mm -hmm. so I'm just very intrigued by that. But then also, as far as now, like um, as far as dancing and stuff like that, do you look at people like because I mean, we got we were we were robbed of the Chris Brown um, dance Oof. performance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I really want to see that. Is there anything yeah. like that that you look forward to doing? Um, yeah, for sure. Like, is there, like, because you say you listed all these OGs in the game, but is there anybody that you see you could see yourself doing a tribute to one day? Yeah, definitely Chris Brown. Um, Shout out to Chris man, Brown, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, come on, man. We got to re Yes, sir. I respect them. Um, even, like, for me, Bruno Mars. Like, I really Bruno. listen to him. Yeah, I, I watch Bruno, and, like, he, he cold, man. Like, <laughs> you just see his shows and everything. Like, he different. Like, really built different. And he's have, he's like he's been in the game for a minute, too, so I respect him. All of them. Is there a regiment that you have? Because it, it take a lot of work to like <laughs> dance and sing and at the same time, is there is there a regiment you got? You do like a thousand burpees a day or like? Nah, I, <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, I do burpees sometimes, but um, oh, mainly man. I run and I sing. Oh, so like, while you jogging? Yeah, so I run and I sing. Uh, if yeah. I'm on the treadmill, I will sing. Then I just. Always when I'm dancing and stuff, I make sure I sing so I get used to doing the that. The breath control of it. It helps mm -hmm. him with his breath control. That's a, that's a dope technique that I don't know if somebody taught you that, but that's dope. Where does Usher fall in all of this for you? Um, He's there for sure because that's a goat. Like, that's yeah. that's a real goat. Like, honestly, I feel like even, even Usher, my dad has put me in front of Usher, like, just put me on the Usher and stuff and, like, he a goat. Yeah, yeah that's, sure. that's how I feel. Yeah. yeah, Papa Jay is here. Where you get this name, Papa, man? What are you, <laughs> yeah. five? <laughs> Who Papa are you? He was like 17. Nah, most, <laughs> most people say, like, I'm young with an old soul, so that's why, you know, my dad, he called me Papa. And I just Your stuck with that. that. to you, huh? Yeah, yeah everybody <laughs> called me Papa. Like, it was like I was able to hold conversations with, you know, older people at such a young age. So people were like, man, there's no way he three years old having a conversation about this. Ain't no way he's six years old doing this and doing this. Mm. It's like pop on young with old soul. Papa J, your, your dad knew that one day you'll be with some woman sometime and <laughs> she gonna be calling out your name and <laughs> won't be hard to. <laughs> hey, I told, love it when they call me Big Papa. <laughs> <laughs> he told me I'm gonna grow into it. So I was like, all right. <laughs> she gonna be calling smart. out your name. Because yeah. like, you know, a lot of people who come out Maybe when they're younger, and especially when they have a wide variety of talents, they might have the word Lil in front of their name. You know, I'm thinking about when Lil mm -hmm. Bow Wow came out at a very young age, a Lil Romeo. So I like that, one, you embody the maturity of a papa, and then your father was yeah. able to, like, forecast, you know, the future and be like, nah, you're going to grow into it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it also makes yeah. me think, too, like, Papa, I don't know if you want to join this combo that we had with um, Head as well earlier this morning, <laughs> but because you are... <laughs> An older uh -oh. soul. Uh -oh. I want. I wonder. Would you feel comfortable then dating older women as well, since you already feel comfortable engaging? <laughs> you should see his eyes. His eyes. Listen. You see his face. His face is like oh. I'm just saying. Like, it ain't got me right now because I think. Oh, this is what we doing on Monday. Yeah, I'm 14, so you know that's, right, right. that's a little. So, 18 year old version. You're 14. Of you. 18. Yeah, I'm 14. <laughs> He is a papa, a heaven. You think he was older? So you would date somebody, what, 54? No, no, no. That's no, no, crazy. Cher is 50 no, years old. Okay, hold on. Yo, Let's do, yo, don't do this Cher thing. Yo, do, the, do the hand thing. Hand crazy, dated somebody. Right hand so he dated was, somebody. I was, I was 19 and I was with somebody that was 31. That's why you were smiling. I was like, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, he over there cheesing. I was like, what, what's going on? That's true. So well, what, what's the old, what, like if a 24-year-old came up to you? It's like, you know, Papa. I mean, look, I'm going to talk to her for sure, but, you know. <laughs> God, it's in his blood. <laughs> at, the end, at the end of the day, it's still, you know, you can catch a case, baby. It's, that's, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Word. don't want to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that, <laughs> man. This dude, man, y'all got to see his jeans. Can you stand up on the chair a little bit? Just I got you. Yeah, just that yeah he thing. fitted out. Hey, look, Kasubi yeah, need to sponsor me, man. Yeah, yeah. who is uh, this? What brand Kasubi, is this? man. Kasubi. Look, look, Tag on the back, yeah, y'all see that look, man. Fire. That look too I can't see the doors. <laughs> I didn't know someone ah. to start wearing white jeans in the summer. Can Don't I do still it, wear white. You could, you could, do, but how they gonna you fit? Can. Sway? <laughs> Thank you, Tracy. Oh, I mean, how they gonna fit? <laughs> I, 
I'm gonna give him my cash app too. <laughs> <laughs> cash app by convenience. Papa J got older women. Yeah, and got, this dude about to be a Creed three. Yeah, bro. Right? Yeah, that's that's man, that's a blessing for real. Like, especially me and everybody on the Creed set. Like, yeah. it was wild. What was that like? So like, when I got the audition, I was so like, I was so happy, and I was like, this can't be real. Like. My dad, he was putting in the air when I was shooting safety. Uh-huh. Like, my son got to be in Creed. Like, he was just saying that to Reggie Hudlin, who actually directed safety. Shout out to Reggie. Shout out to Reggie uh, Hudlin. 100%. Yeah. Shout yeah, out man. to Yeah, man. He, he helped goat. build BET back yeah. in the day. And yeah, yeah he's, he's a true GOAT. Go ahead. Yeah, amazing to work with, too. And he just kept saying, he was like, I don't know how it's going to happen if he got to be the son or something like that. And I get the audition in uh, 2022. Yeah, this year. And um, I was just like, I got I to gotta kill this. I got to. I gotta like, I gotta book this. I was like, I don't know. I don't care about anything else right now. I gotta book this. I'm going to school and like, you know, I'm in class and it's hard. For, I'm, it's hard for me to focus because I'm just saying the lines while I'm in class and my teacher like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing right now? And I'm like, look, my bad. I'm just, I'm going over this audition. And then um, every time I got in the car, my dad would just start. He would start the audition and then start reading like his lines, which mm-hmm. was the other person's line mm-hmm. that I was reading with. And I would go over the script, and then I met Michael B. Jordan um, when oh, I got the second, yeah. when I got the call second back. Uh, call back, mm-hmm. yeah. And I was like, it didn't even hit me that I was with Michael B. Jordan. I was just talking to Michael B. Jordan at first because I was so <laughs> locked in. But when I got on set the first day that I booked it, oh, my God, I was like, this is Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> this, is, this is kill, my yeah. bro. Like, like, bro, like, I'm like, yo, like, I'm playing younger him. So the first thing I told him, I was like, look, since I look like a younger you, you know, you should put mm-hmm. me on some ladies, dog. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Just help, help a brother out. You know what I mean? So, but, um, but yeah, man. Oh, it was so. Wow. Congratulations. Was, yeah. yeah. I bet he saw himself in you a little bit. Because that's the first thing I thought. You I was like, like you could my, be his, his son. <laughs> yeah, like, that's incredible. Go fast, dad. Yeah. <laughs> but they all look alike, though. Like, huh? it's weird. If you see a picture, my dad showed a picture of him, me, and Michael B. Jordan. Because everybody used to say my dad looked like Michael B. Jordan, cut his beard off and everything. Mm-hmm. We look like a family. Like, it's weird. Like, we even showed Mike. Mm. He was like, it ain't no way, bro. Like, this is it crazy. Might be relations, bro. Uh, Ancestry.com. Yeah. yeah. But let's talk <laughs> about be. that power of manifestation, too. We've been talking about that a lot this year. Yeah. We're just having faith, even through your frustrations in life. And because you don't book everything that you, nah. you, go, you go out for, some things you may really, really want. But the fact that your dad said that and put it into the universe and that power of manifestation, how you shouted out Mr. Hudlin and everything, mm-hmm. I think is great. Great, great, great. Congratulations. I Thank can't you. wait to see it for that because manifestation is part of this too. You just absolutely have to believe. Thank you very much. And, and I'm glad you talked about, uh, had actually about your regimen earlier and part of that practicing that y'all did. Mm-hmm. You know, being reading in lines. class yeah. and having lines yeah. flow through your head, reading lines as soon as you get in the car. That's the part of the work that people don't hear enough or of. Or see. Or see. They just mm-hmm. see the end result. They'll see you on the screen. They'll see you post something on social. You're probably doing some dances on TikTok or something. <laughs> but they didn't see the rehearsal. Yeah, mm-hmm. they didn't see none of that. And like you said, like, you don't book everything. Like, when I did my first movie, um, I booked another movie, like, literally right when I was done shooting that movie. And it was called South of Heaven. Right? And after I filmed that, um, this was like, we were about to go straight into COVID, but I, like, stopped booking for, like, a whole, like, six, seven months. And, like, mm. I thought about it, and I was like, I, I know I'm not cocky or nothing like that, but I got too confident. I was slacking on doing my auditions and stuff. I was uh, like, yeah. uh, maybe I'll wait. I'll wait till, you know, the day before. Yeah. Then I was like, I'm noticing I'm, I'm not booking right now. And I was like, I got to really put that work in, that same mm-hmm. hunger, and I, and I got it back, and I just— Creed came and that's when I was like, I gotta get this. I gotta do it. Like, mm-hmm. you know? And so yeah. Man, Papa wow. Jay here, man. Get this young man. He giving me chills right now. Damn, Troy. Thank you, thank you. Is that your pop shoulder? What's that? That's wow. the picture? I actually thought it was two pictures of Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> that's really? crazy. Yeah. Oh my God, Tracy, Who no that? cap. That's my yeah, dad. That's his father. Come here, man. That's Michael he B. Said, Jordan. Hey, I know you never wanted to be on camera, I know, but if you're ever going to do it, <laughs> you might as well do it here, right? That is nuts. <laughs> wow. Oh, look wow. See, I had to, when, when he did the oh, my gosh. You, you got to hold that to the camera. Yeah, it's crazy. Show, oh, Yo, this, that's no, crazy. Mike Trace. taking a picture and running around, say, tripping on Did that. Did you see that? That is crazy. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I was at that wow. the same age. It's funny, man. 
He's yeah, been we, boxing yeah. since he was Beautiful yeah. Jones. You, you nice on the hand? Let me see oh, your, yeah, yo, I, Pops, hold your hands up. Oh, let me see your, let me just he said it hurt. Oh, yeah, I want to see this. Yeah, let me see the shadow box. I want to see this. this well, Sway, good, why you ain't hold up your hand? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let Shit. Let Sway, you do it. He like, yeah, you know, man, yeah. this is nasty. Taste yeah. this. No, 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 That's no, no, the kind no, of no, dude Sway is. No, no. No, no. <laughs> Sway got <laughs> stuff to do tomorrow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I got the jacket on. Oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, hell no. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. 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 He's like, all right, all right, all right, that's the enough. Just that's the dog. Go to a song, Sway. That would have been the first time I got knocked out right in there. <laughs> hey, I'm glad you got out of that, bro. <laughs> Your head was like, no. <laughs> Don't do it. Get out of there. Get out of there, Rocky. Get out of there. <laughs> Papa uh, J, yeah. Yeah. citizens, call up, 888-742-3345, which you are witnessing right now. Denzel had to be 14 Yo. <laughs> at one point. Yeah. Right? Michael Ely was 14 at one point. You co-starred with him in Reasonable Doubt. That's yeah. a good friend of ours. You know, so, yeah. And parents, listen. If you have some questions for Papa Jay's dad, I know a lot of y'all trying to get y'all kids into the industry. It takes work though and commitment. Ask questions. Mm-hmm. You got really questions? Good. You want to get your kid in the industry? Eight 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 seven four two three three four five. This is I ain't playing. Papa Jay is out right now. Let's Shade get four it. five. Papa Jay is here. That's his new single. I ain't playing. The young Sounds man good. is fourteen years old. You already yeah, saw him in the movie Safety, and um, you can see him in the Hulu series Reasonable Doubt, and you'll see him in the upcoming Creed Three. Oh, and um, I ain't playing. Yet what I like about your music, what I find interesting, Heather, I've heard a few of his songs. Mm-hmm. Is even you wouldn't like Papa Jay is an appropriate name because your songs are youthful but mature. Yeah. Mm-hmm. At yeah. the same, is that is how much say so do you have in your creativity? Oh, I have a lot to say. So, like, I write, I write my own records with my dad. Um, oh. Melodies, um, like, I do my own melodies. Like, my writing process process is like that. I do my melodies. Then me and my pop start writing. And uh, yeah, I have a lot to say. So, though. Yeah. Mm. Wow, that's cool. Um, I don't have any children, but I have nieces and nephews. Mm-hmm. And um, my nephew is actually out here on this trip with me just to get experiences and, and learn a little more. And he had a conversation with me last night, in fact, about jealousy. You know, um, and how do you deal with it? Like, you know, being around certain friends. And he said he's he's kind of like not into some of the things that people are getting into. He mm-hmm. said, sometimes I feel like the oddball. You know, he's yeah. just like, I, I go back to my dorm or I go chill someplace else. How do you deal with it? Because, I mean, music is one thing. But then when you start going into television and film, it's yeah. gigantic. That's like immediate name and face recognition. Yeah. How is your circle of friends, or do you deal with any type of jealousy or envy? Just out of curiosity. Well, I mean, you know, it's gonna be haters all over, but I just say God bless you to the haters. Did you go? You know what I mean. But um, when I started high school, it was like that's when I started noticing like jealousy. But I spread a lot of positivity and love, so I don't right. get too much jealousy from mm-hmm. people. Mm-hmm. Um, but I got this little crew that I call PBC, and it, it stands for Positivity, Brotherhood, and Community. And oh, we I all, love that. Yeah, we all stand together. Yo, hold and on, man. Don't put it on, man. Way too fast, man. <laughs> I love that. PBC, Positivity, mm-hmm. brotherhood. Brotherhood, brotherhood, and Community. And community. Yeah, and um, basically it's just bringing unity with all of us and just coming together and making sure, like, we got the basketball players, you got even football players, you got, you know what I mean, uh, wrestlers, so many people that just – like, go under PBC because mm-hmm. we just all want to be together and not have any beefs at school, not have any problems, no fights. It's 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 been no fights at school. Like <clears throat> it like it's been no fights from anybody for real, especially on the boys oh, side. Man. Girls, it's been some fights with them. I don't know why they was fighting, but <laughs> you know, over the boys. Yeah, pro- yeah, I guess so. <laughs> it was a lot of fights. <laughs> 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 yeah, it was a lot of fights, but yeah, that's that's what wow, it is. Y'all paved in the way, man. I love yeah. that. How long? How mm-hmm. long you been singing, bro? Um, I started in at like at the end of 2019. Okay. Yeah, I was um 11. Yeah, and then I sang to this girl at school, and I was like, I want to sing that. And I was like, I was like, what you sing? Different from all the rest. Real close since we first met. I like you, girl, I confess, yeah, yeah, something my boys don't get, no. And then after that, she liked me. 
Oh, shit. <laughs> shit, I like you. <laughs> after that, I was like, come. Yeah, yeah, me, me, Tracy, never like you. We go, we go to yeah, ice cream she, after this. <laughs> she, was, she was on me after that. Yo, that's it. You, you ain't even playing fair, Papa J. Nah, it's you too can't much. be singing to no 13, 14, 15 year old girls. So she, she ain't gonna be able to handle that. Nah. Was, Did you deal with anything when your voice started to change? Singing yes. one? Okay, yeah, I, like, that's where I, I was asking. I that's, why, up, that's why you're okay. I woke up one morning, and I was like, Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need mean, water. I was like, hold on. I tried to sing this. No, I was like, Ugh. I was like no. <laughs> and I couldn't speak for like a whole, like, like two weeks for real. Like, my voice was like messed up for like a whole two weeks. I was in class, like, it, I don't know. It was in like an awkward stage for a minute. Yeah. And then yeah. later on, it just changed, and I was like, ew. It was cool talking to the ladies because it was like, oh, you know, 14. I'm putting on my little deep voice and everything. She like, uh, you got to be like 16, 17. I'm like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> wow. PB, PBC, puberty yeah. crew. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, Yo, we got Papa. people up. Oh, go ahead, Tracy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wanted to know how important is it for you that your friends be just as ambitious? Because, you know, the average 14-year-old, isn't pursuing these mighty goals that also adults are pursuing as well. And oftentimes, like, when you get older, you'll hear people who have mindset that's like, okay, you're the average of the five closest people. Everybody that's on my team got to be striving for, like, greatness. But an average 14-year-old just might be focused on, like, getting good grades in school. Do you Mm -hmm. want people around you who have similar aspirations? Or are you okay with people who have maybe perceived to be, like, smaller dreams? Um, you know, I, I, I really strongly believe in, like, if you surround yourself around five millionaires, you'll end up being the six. So it's like a lot of people look up to me at school, you know, and even in my friends, they look up to me like, okay, you, you doing these things that I haven't done. I don't know exactly what I want to do in life yet, but I see you and I have, you know, me personally, I feel like I got enough connections where even my friends, if they need help figuring out what they want to do in life and get a jump start on what they want to do in life, I can go help them and also tell my dad, you know, my homie wants, he needs some help with this and, and, you know, he needs some help with that. Do you have anything that can help him? So I feel like they all just, you know, everybody pretty much has ambitions around me because it's just, I'm like that and like, it just, I guess it attracts to everybody else. Absolutely. Energy. Absolutely. Yeah. energy. That's mm-hmm. all energy. That's what energy mm-hmm. is all about. Papa J is here. Uh, we just heard a single, I Ain't Playing. I promise I'll take a call or two. We got Pell on the line from Georgia. Go ahead, Pell. Pell, what up? Hey, Pell. Hey, what up, What up, family? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? What's Beautiful. up? What's up? Good. That's what's up. Hey, this is for the father. So I have a daughter who's pretty talented in a lot of ways. And she Wait, wanted on, to get into acting. Wait, hold on one second. I want to make sure you hear this. Can you stand in between your son and Heather? So I want to make sure you're on the camera. Okay, go ahead. There no, you go. you're good. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Father dressed flyer than the son right now. I'm <laughs> mad at him. I'm hating. <laughs> go ahead. All right. So this go is ahead. What's your question? So, like I said, I have a daughter who's pretty talented, very talented to be exact, and she wanted to get into the acting business and things of that nature. But it's very hard to really get into because you don't know who's scamming or the darker side of it, who's, who's out here trying to sell children. How do you yeah. screen which um, agencies to deal with and make sure you don't get scammed or, you know, have your child missing. Um, well, the, 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 if any agency tries to charge you, then they full of it. That's for one. Um, like with my son, I didn't wait until he booked something to create a reel. We would take like scenes from movies and write the script out and we would shoot it ourselves. And that's how I created his reel. And then when I sent it to all the agencies, everybody went crazy and called me back. So it's just being proactive. <clears throat> right now, for kids, this is the best time to be into the acting world because of the SAG rules and the minor rules. He can only be on set for a certain amount of time. SAG literally walks on set. They they tried to jump Michael B. Jordan because something he wanted to do, you know, it was all positive, but he was like, I want to smoke machine. SAG like, nope, he's a minor, he can't. So they're very protective. Um, and, and, and it's just, you, when you say your daughter wants to be in the business, cause, cause I actually, I am his acting coach. I actually teach it. I always ask parents and kids, like how much studying is your daughter doing? You know what I mean? Like my son literally, like he just said earlier, he studies Fred Astaire. He sits, he was watching a movie last night and just studying the actor. 
That's the main thing. When you with him, I never pushed him. It was always if he didn't ask me to go to the studio, we don't go to the studio. Mm. If he doesn't ask me to work on acting, we don't have work. This is his life. This is his career. So um, just to tell all that, bring all that back together. The one they charge you, they full of it. Um, you can create your own destiny. That's why we got YouTube. We got all these outlets for social media. She can watch scripts. Y'all can write them out, create a reel. And if you need help, I can help you. I was going to say, could you tell them about your company? It, yeah. Just as Grandpapa Jay, by the way. So. <laughs> <laughs> you hey, you put the no grand on it? Don't put no kids on me yet. Ha, ha, all right. Faja. <laughs> it's Faja Jay. Okay. But, yeah, I, 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 I teach, and it's funny because Heather brought it up organically, but it's called Get Your Kids in the Biz, which I teach the parent and the child because you are even more important because as soon as the agent's job is done, they don't know what's going on. You're on set with your child. You're handling the business. You're filling out the paperwork. You're doing the day-to-day. You're setting up the schools. You're setting up the, the, the S Corp. You're getting the work permit. You're doing all the work, and then you have to leave your job so they can have one. So that's Word. the one thing I as parents. Like, literally, if your child books on Monday, you may think, oh, I got a month or two to go. No, you're leaving Wednesday for five to six months. Mm. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> that happens. Wow. Right? Oh, facts. oh, yeah, it's just like he booked one year, we left two days later. Um, safety and with South that we were gone nine months out of the year. Wow. Pilot Perry called Heather on a Tuesday. She was in Atlanta by Thursday. Yeah. Word. Yeah. Yeah. It was crazy. What, what is your Instagram? Oh, mine is Mix Management. Or you can hit me on Big T, B I G T E E 2008. It's in it's in Papa J Show uh, bio. So you okay, can, go to Papa, Papa J Show J, right. and then go to the so, bio. That's the Papa J Show is his is Papa J's um, social media. Make sure you do that. Yo, give his family a round of applause. Absolutely, like absolutely, right absolutely. Here, man. man, beautiful father, brother. And Sway, I that's what I said. I was going to say absolutely. to you, Sway. Yeah. I told him, I said, if you don't mind, I'll tell Sway we'll put you on. But that's why I'm always, I'm always saying to you about your daughter. I don't think it's being overprotective. I don't think it's being overbearing. It's beautiful to see fathers active in mm-hmm. their children's lives. Yeah, it, it, it's necessary. And I personally believe that people treat you differently when they see your father, father. around. Word. And it's, it's like, not a oh, knock on any like, mothers or right. your no, mother not, or no. any of that. Right? The mother gave yeah. birth. She yeah, broke yeah. her yeah. skin to bring the child here. Oh, but it's, birth, it's perfect <laughs> to see <laughs> the the, the, oh, the father here. Oh. Like, it's, it's it's just beautiful. Pell, hey, Mick, reach out, Pell. You got reach the game out. right there, okay? Word. I just sent them a request. He, he, he's private right now, which I understand. <laughs> I just sent them that request. Oh, he hot. He hot. He, he hot, hot, baby. He a hot dad in Hollywood. He can't just be taking any request. <laughs> <laughs> hey, especially Fact. being on set, too. Like, a lot of, like, the teachers, you know, and I had amazing teachers and, like, people on the set. You know, they always like, like, where's your mom? Where's your mom? You know, I have my mama for sure, but my right. dad, he, he comes on set with me. It's so, like, unexpected for a black father to be with his son yeah, that's what we on do. set. Mm. And it's yeah. so... You know, so it's like I want to change that narrative. So that's what me and my father we gonna do. Y'all such a show off. Oh, I got my dad in my life. Nah, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> we triggering trauma for head. Yeah, head, head got got trauma. Oh, I got my dad in my life. So what? Oh, you got a dad, daddy, fatty. Oh, I have a dad. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Maybe, maybe, maybe he could be a, a bonus kid. <laughs> yeah, you could be. <laughs> Ass says liabilities. Rich dad poor. I didn't read children's books. Yeah. I read real estate books. I read real estate books. I read Rich Dad and Poor Dad to him. We used mm. to listen to it in the car also. So he had me under his teachers like, okay, well I'm doing this now. How do I? Where do I invest this? Invest that? And if I save my money when I get 18, my purchasing power is going to be lower. Should I invest where? So the teacher would call me and I'm like yes that's what I want you to focus on mm. teach him that you know? right oh yeah because we don't have that in school absolutely we don't, we don't teach about financial know. literacy uh, and he making mm. money now look at him at 14 <laughs> yes sir yes, shit sir. I was cutting lines at 14 it wasn't the same <laughs> I was washing cars <laughs> where are you yeah. where's your dad is it <laughs> wow <laughs> I don't <Damn>. know <laughs> I need the citizens to help me find him look for him why you don't do the ancestry thing I know where he at <laughs> <laughs> I know where he at <laughs> <laughs> I just ain't pulling up. <laughs> just pull it up? Okay. Yeah. Right. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Yo. Uh, I think another conversation, Sway, if, if I could squeeze this in, if Grandpa Jay is still there, I'm sure um, parents are also yeah. wondering, yeah. too. 
Okay, good, good, good. What's your proper it, name, man? What, yes. T, okay, T. T, T is here. Real quick, Tracy. Okay, T from T. Okay, so what is it an awkward conversation when you have to discuss payments? Because you guys technically work with each other. And when a child is really young, like, I'm not sure if you ask your child, hey, are you cool with these percentages? Or is it something that a conversation that's nah, you ongoing? Tell your child, you tell your child what he's going to get. That's my answer for <laughs> <Yeah>. T. <tea. laughs> <laughs> well, I, I taught him business before all the talent and the, the, the artistry. Um, so I always teach him, too, when people work, you pay yeah. your people. But the benefit that he gets, okay, if Sway is managing him, Sway takes his percentage and goes back to his family. My percentage stays and goes right back to him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, amazing. We, we shared, like, with safety. I produced the trailer of the movie. So everything, that we, we kind of been rocking and rolling. Like you said, this, this didn't start with uh, develop my son to be in the industry. This was if you took your child to go fishing, that was your thing. Well, he just wanted to be wherever I was. So I'm in the studio. He wanted to be in the studio. If right. I was in the gym, he wanted to be in the gym. So it was never like I'm preparing you for the industry. I'm just preparing you for life. And it's just the platform that you get to use. You know what I mean? I love it, man. T, thank you, brother, for oh, your yeah, presence. I know you wasn't anticipating being on the mic today, but we <laughs> lose <laughs> everybody. <laughs> Chicago. <laughs> You're a shy town boy, right? Oh, yes, sir. Chicago. You grew up on Old Block? No. <laughs> Just because I'm from Chicago don't mean I'm from O Block. But you know, <laughs> man, PBC is the only thing I'm about, and that's positivity, brotherhood, and community. Like so you that. know what I mean? Say less. What about them? I thought the B could stand for bars, too. Hey. Positive I mean, bars. Look, I and community. used to rap when I was three until around like nine. So You used to know? rap when you was three, so. What kind of bars you had at three? Man, what were you talking was, about? My dad was helping me with my bars, you feel me? Okay. But I wrote a little something, though. You wrote a little something? I wrote a little something Yo, in the car, John, John, throw that beat on. We're going to see what you got here. Let's see what's mm. happening. Papa Jay's here. Uh. There's some beats hard. Uh. Uh. Think my dad for the seed planet. Look, center swag, pardon if I seem manish. And mama blessed me with a vocal talent that set me like years apart from all the local talent. Imagine me caring with a goofy feel. My first time in front of cameras, and I booked a three movie deal. The most high living breathe in me. Go see the movie Creed 3, it's a cut of the Creed in me. Future in me, Oscars. It's too many imposters, ain't too many can pop out with Papa. Reasonable doubt, hot drama, hot mama. What streams looking like on Lulu? Hot lava, uh. Dad took his son, bet it on him. My face on billboards, LA sunset, sun setting on him. She like, OMG, safety on Disney? Uh, how you doing, baby? Yeah, that is me. There's so much I've been did and I've been here. Sold out, show 40K up in Trinidad. Uh, and that's before the age of seven. A lot of girls, mama wanna go and vow me with a reverend. Uh, uh, but it ain't gonna be no broom jumping. At least no time soon, pumpkin. <laughs> yo, 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 give it up. We I gotta hang it. it. We gotta hang it. I up love it. Oh, oh. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, that's me, baby. You yeah. better recognize who you looking at. Oh my you see gosh. me on safety. Sway's my uncle. That's true. <laughs> you see it. <laughs> you there see it. it. He's my dad. Here's my DJ. Here, want to go so, on tour with you. Bro. <laughs> Try his daddy. Yeah, we can share all this, you know, the revenues. Like, like his dad was saying. Like T was saying. Can, it's all going to the pot. It's all going to the pot. <laughs> Five years from now, if you, if you had a chance to paint your picture, what would it look like? Man, um... More movies, um, number one records, more number one records. I I I, I put it manifest that I'm gonna have a number one record. Yes. So more number one records. Um, just to be on stage and actually just have a positive impact on my community yeah. and my generation Amen. and change go. the way that my generation listens to music, you know, and just bring R and B and that love back. I don't think it's dead to me. No, like, it ain't personally, dead. I don't think it's dead. It ain't. Like if you all my friends, they listen to old R and B, new R and B, mm -hmm. like they love it cause, you know, especially me being a boy, like, we like to listen to dudes talk about how much we how much they love a girl and what they doing for a girl. You know what I mean? That's Aww. that's important because then I learn stuff from, you know, listening to how to treat a girl in the song. If it isn't for my dad, then I'll put it in my song so dudes can learn how to treat a girl from they from my song. So it's just, you know, it's like that. 
T, wow. man. You make me want to have a son, dog. <laughs> 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 I wanna, can Pull I, out, Sway. Well, that's why I don't have a son. <laughs> 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 Say it, Sway. <laughs> Yo, man, everything you say is already in the mix. Amen. Yes, everything Amen. you say is already happened. Trust me when I tell you that. You're an amazing young man, and I appreciate your spirit, Thank you. your focus, and your example. Okay, and you give us all hope. You you a bridge too, cause you we we want to hang out with you. we grown ass men. I'm trying to hang out with you. <laughs> head too. Head. He like hey. the father by familiarity. He like you know. Yeah. Um, but um, thank you for coming through. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate y'all, man. Shout out to Troy, my pops. Troy Marshall. So amazing. Have thank you. Yes. Sway, appreciate you. you. Even the cameraman right here. Yeah, He's in here. Appreciate you. You on the screen right Tracy there. Tracy G. Well, yeah. y'all so much. <laughs> appreciate y'all. Okay. Hey, and we're going to play. <laughs> y'all back here, man. Yeah. <laughs> you too. Appreciate everybody. Uh, For real. I want to play this song. I, I saw. Was it called I'm Sorry or Just Sorry? Uh, sorry. How old is that song? Um, I actually recorded in my bedroom like almost two years ago. I just put it out like I forgot the date, but it was a little like a couple months back. What is that song about? All right, man. Now you now you getting personal with it, man. Oh snap, man! It was this girl, man. <laughs> it's always a girl. Man. <laughs> mm-hmm. I was <laughs> I was not trying to. Oh man! All right, so look, it was this girl I liked and stuff, and like I did her wrong, but she did me wrong. So we did each other wrong, but you know I wrote that because I was like, I'm just saying. I'm What's sorry. her name? Like, I'm not saying no name. Come on, man. You That's can't do that brother. to me. Go you on. can't do that can't to me. I can't do that because then if I do that, she gonna call me. That was about me. I knew it was about me. And then if another girl called you, know? okay, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> then you know what you <laughs> Pop <laughs> caught you well. Don't ever say the name. <laughs> you know what you do with all the old school R and B guys? You say, you know who you are. <laughs> 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 I love all y'all. <laughs> she know who she is. She know who she is. I ain't gonna ask you how you did her wrong if she did you they wrong. They were 12. <laughs> Sway. Yeah. You took my candy? I, 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 I mean, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> they were 12, Sway. She took, his, took his Doritos. <laughs> all right, man. Well, listen, we're gonna end on this good note. I wanna play this song, sorry, um, by Papa J. And you guys follow him. Tell him where they can follow you. Hey, y'all can follow me on Instagram at Papa J Show. That's P A P A J Y S H O W. And then um, also on Papa J Show on YouTube. Papa J Show everywhere. All right. right. All right. And then this was live, and we'll be posted on Sway's Universe as well. Sure. Um, Head, I want to thank you for making this LA trip authentic, <laughs> man. Thank you. I know we did some therapy today, hey, man. Did <laughs> we some therapy? I appreciate y'all for having me always. You know what I'm saying? And I got to meet Papa J. Man, thank Heather you. Heather B. Man, Tracy, Sway, you the whole squad. Yes, man. Sway's universe. Word. Appreciate y'all. West Coast. Okay. Congratulations on everything you're doing. If they want to see some more of what you're doing, where can they go? DJ H E D on all platforms. There you go, man. This is I'm sorry by my man Papa J. Papa J, thank you, T. Thank you. Respect, brother. Respect. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Same to you, Troy. Yes, All right, Troy, and here it is. Troy. Shade for.